Tate Reeves is not doing it in Mississippi. And so what I'm saying is this here. When, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is this here. When I listen to Republicans talk about being pro-life, what I want to know is where are their pro-life stances when it comes to Head Start? Right. Where are their pro-life right. stances? When, no, no, no. When it comes to prenatal care. Right. Where are their pro-life stances when you have black women who have a higher rate of dying in childbirth? Where are your pro-life right. policies right. when it comes to black when That's it comes to infant mortality? What I'm saying is Guns. when you are a Republican Republican in the state of Mississippi, and you push a law that the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade, and you are ill-prepared to handle the 5,000 new babies, maybe because the money that you could care for the poor went to Brett Favre. That's right. Uh, you know, and all I want to see is the governor of Mississippi, who's opposing Medicaid expansion, seeing rural hospitals shut down in his state, and you got white women and black women who are dying, and Republicans control the legislature. Yep. They control the governor's mansion, so don't tell me they are pro-life when they are unwilling to accept <laughs> Medicaid expansion, but then they say, we don't want to accept federal money from the federal government when they send $1 to the federal government and they get $4 back. When you look mm. at the, I, this, this concept, what you're saying to me right now is that because you believe that Republicans are not supporting um, pro-living. I disagree. I look at the Republican support for um, uh, community health centers. I look at the Republicans trying Where? to... Where? Everywhere, Roland. South Carolina. North, no, no, South Carolina. North Carolina. Tennessee. Georgia. Arkansas. Texas. Mississippi. Alabama. They all are against Medicaid expansion and rural hospitals. Rural hospitals. Are you telling me? Are you telling me rural hospitals? Are you literally telling me that rural hospitals in Mississippi, Alabama, Texas? Arkansas, Tennessee, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina are not shutting down? Are you actually telling me that? I am not telling you that. But so what therefore, I am saying, if, oh they're, if they're shutting down, how then are the people able to get care? How? Roland, I'm, what I am saying is that there are, when we talk about aborting babies, like, so you're saying to me that because we, we support life, Actually, giving babies the opportunity to live. I'm, I'm confused. Baby I'm, 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 I'm so confused. No, no, no. First of all, you know, hold up. You're confused because you think I'm saying something that I'm not. Well, tell me what you're no, saying. What I'm telling you, I'm being very clear. You cannot say you are pro life when you vote against prenatal care for the mother. You cannot say you are pro-life when you vote against Head Start. Right. You cannot say you are pro-life right. when you do not want to expand Medicaid to keep hospitals open. You cannot say you are pro-life when you have OBGYNs who are not available in your state. Yeah. You cannot say you are pro-life when you have black women who are dying at a higher rate during childbirth and you do nothing public policy-wise to fix it. You cannot say you are pro-life if you allow infant mortality rates to be sky high in areas where there are black and brown people. What that tells me is you are anti-abortion. You are not pro-life. Right. Because if right. you are pro-life, right. you care about the child in the womb right. and when the child is out. Thank and if you are pro-life, you are standing there with black folks when their kids are killed by cops. That you are right. not silent. So Come if on. you are pro-life, be pro-life from the womb to the tomb, Come but on. not just in the womb. Come okay, on. and so Roland, what I say is that I am pro-life. No, and you are. No, I am. not government to take reads, not Governor Lee of Tennessee, not the Republican legislature in North Carolina, not Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders, not, not Governor this. Kemp no, in let, Georgia. No, here's the deal, though. Okay, you let are, me ask you this. But are show you, me but where are, your Republican and, politicians are, are, you pro -life? are pro life in their let, policies. Let me ask you this. You know what I am? I'm pro black, and I'm going to oh, call I'm, out anybody who call themselves pro life, and but their policies are not. And I am pro life. Let me ask you this. Are well, you, call your party. Okay, let me ask you this. Call your party. Can I roll Call your party. Can I ask you this? Are call you, your party. Okay, let me ask you this. Call your party. Let me. Can I ask you this? Go ahead. Are you pro-life? I'm pro-life when that black person is killed, exactly. and when a Republican. So let well, me ask you this. Oh, no, no. Right. When a Republican says nothing when somebody is gunned down. That were Repo white, that no, were don't white, use no, extremes. Dina, Republicans do white, say Dina, things when white, people Dina, are gunned down. Dina, no, Roland, Dina, you can't do Dina. that. When, no, they don't. No, they don't. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. Those are the same you know folks who see you know that MOK quotes on oh. MOK Day oh my goodness. but will not support yeah. MOK's Is my mic agenda. on? Can you hear me? Okay, so, 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 Roland. No, 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 Roland.
Tina. You can no, try this all you no, want to, you Tina, but you know the record is clear. Oh my goodness. Your party refuses to accept they but hate can the I, Affordable Care can Act. I, can I ask a, can I, right. can I ask a couple? Come on, we're going to talk about the state of the union, I suppose, but can I ask a couple yeah, questions about, pro- about, about And every single oh one of those Republicans stood up for Tyree Nichols family I don't know, and I don't tell know me how, how I don't know how this is dialogue. Police reform. I don't know how this is dialogue. No, Dina, okay, Dina. So, no, 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 okay. no. Okay, Hello. can Go I? Ahead. I mean, when we got a massive shooting, I don't hear any Republicans talking about any gun, you know. They, they, there were no guns on their lapels, Dina. Mm-hmm. Is that pro-life? That, is that pro-life? I, I, you Uzi on I think that is pro-2A, but pro-life? let me... Is that but pro-life? I'm sorry, what's that? Matt McCarthy is clearly the sick. What I want to... If So if I... so if if pro-life? What? What uh, I want to say, no, 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 I, no, no, uh, no one's. I have, I have, a, I have a chance. I, uh, first of all, I want to ask. A, I want to have a conversation about are you if you if no, 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 if no, Republicans are no, no, not. No, 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 no Roland, Roland, Dana, Roland Dana, you Dana, haven't Dana, given me a Dana. chance. No. Are we gonna have a conversation? Oh my goodness! About if, if this is actually going to give Dana. me a chance to speak, are then I will Dana. speak. Dana. You can ahead, ask me ahead, about please. being pro-life, about being pro-choice. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Native Texan. What mm-hmm. I see from Governor Greg Abbott, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, the Republican legislature, what I see are folks who are pushing anti-abortion bills, not pro-life bills. Because if you're telling me you pro-life, you better be pro-life in a whole bunch of areas beyond a woman's oh use. So that's the point. That's the point. And that I am when making. you look at exactly, they're not pro-life. They're pro-controlling women. That's what it comes yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Or force birth. Mm -hmm. birth. I was at HHS when the Affordable Care Act was passed. Mm -hmm. I worked on implementation. Medicaid expansion was up, and no Republican would 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 expand it. Here we are in 2023. That was 2010. 13 years have gone by. Republicans have consistently voted to expand support for community health. No, no, this is rolling. No, I'm coming back to you. Oh my goodness. I want her to finish. Okay. Because she actually worked there. Okay. Okay. Finish your point. Since you worked there, hold on, Bill. Finish your point. I don't understand how this. I'm gonna let the person who worked there tell us what happened when she worked there. I worked in government affairs with the governors. There was full resistance from Republican governors. Mm-hmm. to expand Medicaid. Mm-hmm. And to your point earlier, they actually got money from us mm-hmm. to expand health services mm-hmm. in primarily red states. They wouldn't take it because they didn't want to be known as taking money from Bar- President Barack Obama. Right. So if mm-hmm. you can say, you're going to say you're pro-life, but you're going to let your community health centers fall. Mm-hmm. You're going to let women die, forcing them to give birth. Mm. Drugs are going up, and you, you just didn't <laughs> care. Now, we had the, they, kept, they tried to make it a partisan issue, but it was about health care. And mm-hmm. to your point earlier, the Affordable Care Act actually did benefit half those people mm-hmm. in that audience. Right. And yeah. Republicans and have consistently... People, it helped primarily black people get access to health care. Okay, and Bill and Dina. Bill and Dina. Okay. You're going to talk, so, Dina. Dina, you're going to talk. Okay. But someone, Bill's going to talk. But they went further. The act also said... You, the states, will set up exchanges yes. so mm-hmm. that people can buy health care. Mm-hmm. A Republican idea that people are supposed yes, to that's buy their own. Yes, by Republican right. government. Correct. Right. They refuse they to refuse set up to the exchanges. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. So the exchanges had to be set up by you. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, which was also right. difficult, as you all may remember. Right. But we recovered. Right. And then the issue was, it was it was considered, uh, what was the word that they would say? Like, it was weird. It wasn't. You know, it wasn't real health care. It was fake plans. And they did that with red states and states out west with many Latinos who needed health care as well. And it was very interesting how up here in the Northeast, we all had health care. We had really good plans to choose from. Right. When you went south, you didn't. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And our people continue to suffer. Republican governors just turned away. And we tried our best to make sure we got people enrolled in health insurance. And this is one of the and points Biden mentioned tonight in his speech. He Go. did. Mm-hmm. Republicans have consistently been in support of expanding support to community health centers. So you're saying that when you were at HHS, yeah, absolutely that, not. When, President, that, when Barack Obama was president, they wouldn't do anything <laughs> Barack Obama wanted to do. Are you kidding? Republicans. <laughs> so legislation to support community health centers was was. Um, That was a key part of the act. Okay, well... A key part of the act were the community health centers, and I was at the Department of Labor at the time, and a key component was to train people for those health centers and including training people... 
This was in the law. Okay. We worked on this. Wait, 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 wait,
with right. people frustrated at the airport checkout line, yeah. Yeah. with people looking at their cable bill, because he don't know a damn thing about paying no cable bill. Right. But, he, but he's sure. talking to very targeted, it's almost like micro-targeting voters. Yeah. Right. He didn't spend a lot of time on the culture wars, abortion and all that, because that's not going to poll well. Right. But what he right. seeded in there, the class warfare he snuck in there, yeah. when it comes to quadrupling the taxes on the stock buybacks, yeah. was for a commercial on rising gas prices. Right. Because he's going to have, they're going to say, somebody to pump, somebody worried, and then Joe Biden's voice going to come in this minute that I am going to tax oh, the people who he's got giving. He's got $200 billion in profit. Exactly. Right. He's making commercials. Finally, right. I'll, I'll end with this, because yeah, it was a speech, but most people don't watch this. When they're not into policy like this, they're going to watch the commercials that come out over the last tw next 12 months. Right. I, I, I'll end with this. I think it's very important. The dignity of work. Mm, he yeah. kept coming back yeah, with that. Yeah, right. what he's, who he's talking to is the people who are going to vote. The reason that he's not trying to expand the base now, because Joe Biden and his advisors know very clearly mm -hmm. that most people in this country have checked out. Right. They are micro-targeting right. to right. win primaries, right. to win the general election. Right. And guess what? He did not say a word about how he's going to pay for it in terms of dollars. No, he did. No, but he did. But he did. Explain that. Because I was about to say. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to break. But let the economist tell it. Hold on, I'm going to break. We come back. You're going to explain that part about how he said he's going to pay for it. I know that Cliff Albright, Reddit Hudson, Tiffany Lofton got them on as well. We're going to talk about, again, the police reform aspect of it. The most emotional moment of the night when we introduced Tyree Nichols' family. So a lot more to cover it. Uh, trust, I, see, I told y'all, <laughs> Jake Tapper can't do this. No, no, no. Rachel mad out him, they ain't having this conversation. <laughs> Uh, and so this is the conversation that we all had growing up uh, in black families uh, where we kept it real and we kept it honest. But here's the deal, because my grandparents taught me, bring your ass to the conversation, start lying, you're going to get eaten up. So they told us, don't come in here selling wolf tickets because it ain't going to play. So we're going to keep having this debate. I got to go to a break. We got to pay some bills, girl. Yeah, we, but it's called paying some bills. Your mom, an executive producer, she know how this works. You got to pay some bills. So think about that pound cake. You're watching Roller Martin Unfiltered. It's special. Save the Union uh, co post coverage. Back in a moment. All right, folks. Back to our Roller Martin Unfiltered video in just one moment. We talk about blackness and what happens in black culture. We're about covering these things that matter to us, uh, speaking to our issues and concerns. This is a genuine people-powered movement. There's a lot of stuff that we're not getting. You get it, and you spread the word. We wish to plead our own cause to long have others spoken for us. We cannot tell our own story if we can't pay for it. This is about uh, covering us. Invest in Black-owned media. Your dollars matter. We don't have to keep asking them to cover our stuff. So please support us in what we do, folks. We want to hit 2,000 people, $50 this month, raise $100,000. We're behind 100000 so we want to hit that. Y'all money makes this possible. Check some money orders. Go to P.O. Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 20037-0196. The cash app is dollar sign RM Unfiltered. PayPal is R Martin Unfiltered. Venmo is RM Unfiltered. Zelle is rolling at rollingsmartin.com. 